Hello everybody. So this is just a quick and short message uh, to welcome you to our Christmas video. Uh, the first and foremost thing I'd like to say, what a strange and troubling year it has been for us all. Um, in all my experience I've not had to deal with a year where we are looking at a pandemic and a virus that none of us have ever dealt with before. So I'd like to say thank you to all of the messages that we've received from some parents about um, what we've been doing in the school and how we've been trying to keep everyone as safe as we possibly can. I'd also like to thank the students for everything they've done in terms of wearing their masks around the school and being sensible. And of course I'd like to thank the, the staff for all of their hard work and dedication over this period. It has been incredibly strange. It has been incredibly hard to make and build relationships with the students uh, in this current environment. But I have to say I've thoroughly enjoyed my first term here and I look forward to the next however many years it will be. After Christmas we will hopefully start the process towards the framework to excellence of which I really look forward to working with, with parents about their ideas about what makes a truly great school. So without any further ado may I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and I hope that you have a safe and joyful day on Christmas Day. Hello and welcome to St John's, the church where I'm rector in Pevensey Road in Upper St Leonard's. I'm Father David, I'm one of the chaplaincy team at Arc Alexandra Academy and it's good to be joining all of you from the Arc Alexandra Academy community uh, online for our Christmas festivities. I do hope and pray that you will find some of the peace of Christmas in the midst of what has been frankly a very unpeace-filled year. A few uh, days ago, it might even be a week or more now, um, Dave Prowse died. Now, many of you won't know who Dave Prowse is, but he was the guy who played Darth Vader. So I thought it'd be a good time to tell you my Darth Vader Christmas joke. And there is a point to it, which I'll explain very quickly afterwards, and then we'll end with a special Christmas blessing. So, I'm in a big cloak, it's not the right colour and I don't have a black helmet on, but use your imagination. Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker are fighting with their lightsabers. And Vader backs Skywalker into a corner, pressing down with his lightsaber into his face. He says, Luke, I know what you're getting for Christmas. And Skywalker, holding, holding Vader off like this, says, Vader, you evil being, how do you know what I'm getting for Christmas? And Vader says, I felt your presence. Good, isn't it? Well, I've always loved it. I must have told it about 8,000 times now, so if you've heard it before, I do apologise. The important thing about Christmas, for me, this year, is twofold. One is, we know that we haven't been in the presence of those whom we love very much this year. That's not been possible. And for many of us, it will continue to be difficult through the Christmas festivities. So whatever you do, Make sure that the people you haven't seen, grandma, granddad, somebody you haven't seen for years, a friend, a cousin, whoever it might be, who you cannot see, pick up the phone, send them an email, WhatsApp them, whatever it is that you do, make sure that the presence of the love that you have for them, they know about at Christmas time. And the second thing is to remember that in all this terribleness and all this separation and all this worry and all the missed lessons and all the stress, in the midst of it is the presence of God. And if we can find that presence this Christmas, the presence of the God who became a baby in a manger, an animal's feeding trough for goodness sake, in Bethlehem all those years ago, if we can find that presence in the midst of all the turmoil, then this Christmas we will find some measure of peace. This Christmas and always, 
may you feel the presence and a Christmas blessing for you all. May the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Joseph and Mary, and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you this Christmas time and always. Amen. Merry Christmas, ladies. Merry Christmas, Mr. Buble. Are you ready to sing a little jingle bell? Yes. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. All the fields we go, laughing all the way. Bells on Bob Till ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Dashing through the snow We are dashing In a one-horse open sleigh One-horse sleigh All the fields we go All the fields we go We go laughing all the way All the way Bells and pop till ring Sleigh bells ring are you listening in the lane snow is glistening a beautiful sight we're happy tonight walking in a winter wonderland gone away is the bluebird here to stay is a new bird to sing a love song while we stroll along walking in a winter wonderland in the meadow we can build a snowman We'll pretend that here's Parson Brown He'll say I am married, we'll say no man But you can do the job when you're in town Later on we'll conspire As we dream by the fire To face unafraid the plans that we made Walking in the winter wonderland
Christingle service. Every year Arc Alexandra leads a Christingle service for the primary schools, with our Year 7s creating the Christingles during their religious studies lessons. Being mindful to keep safe at Christingle, seven golden rules. Wash your hands before handling the fruit and sweets. Keep to all government guidelines. 
Make sure long hair is tied back and keep a hand sanitizer away from lit candles. Supervise children near the cocktail sticks and lit candles. Keep any loose fabrics away from your lit flame. Do not move around with a lit Christingle. Always place your Christingle where you can see it and make sure it can't fall over. Never leave it unattended. Christingle is a joyful, hope-filled celebration of Jesus, the light of the world that takes place around Christmas. It often ends the season of Advent for some churches. Some churches participate to celebrate and support the work of the Children's Society. Christingle is about sharing light and hope with others, especially those in need. How will you share the light this year? What you will require? An orange, a sharp knife, cocktail sticks, some sweets, a candle and red tape. The orange represents the world. The red tape represents the role of the Holy Spirit. Ensure that an adult has cut your hole for your candle. You can also use glow sticks. Insert the candle. This represents the Christian belief that Jesus is the light of the world, the hope for all. Then with a cocktail stick and fruit and sweets, insert this into the orange. And there is a completed Christingle. A Christingle prayer. Lord Jesus, light of the world, as I hold this Christingle and I think about your great love for me, help me to take this light out into the world and to share your love with others, especially those who need it most. Amen. <laughs>
Oh, what fun it is to ride in a walk. 